And I'm a little sick today, unfortunately. Uh, so my voice is going to sound a little different than usual. Actually, I'm going to have to pause the video here and again to uh, clear my throat. So we also got some terrible lighting going on here. But I wanted to get this video made because I got a really cool lot of trolls here. Cool bunch of toys I got. Now I've been picking up boxes of toys out here at the flea market over the last couple months. I've been buying a ton of toys and I've been kind of laying low on listing on eBay. So I just got a bunch of stuff I'm going through and a bunch of stuff I'm listing. And whenever I list stuff on eBay, I try to sort it into the, the um, same type of item so I can get listing done faster because if you switch back and forth between listing different types of items, it takes longer to research and it takes longer. You have to switch back and forth between your style of creating listings on eBay. So right now I'm just going through a ton of troll toys. I'm sure everybody knows what troll dolls are and that's what we got today. So let's take a look at what we picked up. First we got this really cool made in Denmark, made by Dam, and oh man the lighting in here is terrible. Okay you know what, I'm going to put these over here, the lighting is way better. There we go. Alright so we got this cool white haired made in Denmark Dam troll. And the most highest quality trolls, at least the traditional trolls, are made by Dam, D-A-M. This one was made in 1988. <clears throat> and this is the only one I've actually sold already. So I listed a bunch yesterday. I put this one up for $50 on eBay or best offer. Somebody offered me $40 like pretty quickly and I listed it. All right, I uh, accepted the offer for $40 right away. So I made 40 bucks on that. So all I did when I was listing this, I do have worth point. So, um, I, I went back years, actually, to see how much these have gone for, and the most expensive ones, maybe 50 bucks or something, similar ones to this, I think this one was about 8 inches tall, maybe 7 or 8 inches tall, I don't remember exactly what it was, because it was last night, and I was listing a bunch of trolls, <clears throat> but, yeah, just, um, when you're, when you're listing these, you want to look at a few different things. You want to look at their hair color. You want to look at different poses. You want to look at if they have a tail or not. This one does not have a tail. You want to look at um, at their clothing. This is actually a uh, forest. This style, I didn't look really deeply into it, but this is considered a forest troll for some reason. I'm not sure why. It was because of the style of clothing, actually. And the white, I think that the white hair and the clothing actually made this troll stand. Okay, so that was actually pretty funny. I've been through a whole bunch of these 9-inch ones, and every single one of them had a 1985 date under the chin. So the date on the front and the date on the back do not match. I believe, I'm not completely certain, but uh, I think it was a like a remade type of thing, a remake or something like that. A lot of people were were listing them as 1977 when they were actually 1985. So when I find that kind of stuff, I actually put 1977 and 1985. So I put like a 1977 through 1985 in the description. Let's check this guy out. So this is a very, uh, very similar as that uh, as the one that I just showed you. Now this one, it will say I'm pretty sure, yeah, 19 Thomas Dam 1977 made in Denmark on the back. And on his chin, it actually says, um, 1985, damn, made in Denmark. So, I, that might be, or actually, that's definitely what it was, is the body is probably used from the 1977 body, and then possibly they remade the head in 1985. I'm not sure. But anyways, this guy, a lot of these guys... It's really it's really rare to find the bag for these, and unfortunately, I don't know what it was, but whoever collected these cut the ba cut the bag open. Instead of opening this, they cut the bag open on the bottom, or something. I'm not sure. I think they just cut the the bottom of the bag off instead of opening opening the Ziploc part. So 
they damaged the bag in a way that was not necessary at all. But it's very rare to find these old trolls with their bags. Um, this is the Style 60515 GI Troll. Military troll here. Really cool doll. And like I was saying, these go for minimum 40 bucks on these guys. But I'm going to try to get about 60 bucks. I think this guy, this guy's missing his tag, unfortunately. We got a golfing one here. 40 to 60 bucks on these. Let's go over here, grab some more out. Now there's a couple in here I'm putting to the side because I'm making a different type of troll video in the future. Now this is probably just about the ugliest troll I have ever set my eyes on. And I've seen a lot of trolls. This one, I do not like this style. I, it kind of reminds me of the Cabbage Patch, um, what do they call them, Soft Sculpture Cabbage Patch Kids. And if you ever run into the Soft Sculpture Cabbage Patch Kids, a lot of those are worth bank. These guys are not worth that much though. Maybe about 15 bucks shipped, if you're lucky, someone will buy it. But probably like 10 to 15 bucks shipped. And as you can see, it's kind of big. So unless you pick it up for really cheap, it really might not be worth your time. Not worth your while buying that kind of troll. But let's let's take a look at it anyways. You know, uh, Adopt an Orphan Troll, International Silver Company. Even if I don't like it, I'll give you guys a glance at it in case you're troll fans or something. Paracute. Interesting. Now, I actually, I don't remember. When I was doing research on these, I don't remember if I if I took a look at the ta if they had tags or not when they sold. This one does have all the tags attached. It's got a whistle. It's like a, sp a sports team captain or something like that. <clears throat> we got another 9-inch. This one's really cool, actually. I like this. I got two of these graduate ones. I got the boy one here. Green hair. I like that green hair. It's got the cap or the graduate uh, <clears throat> hat. Still has the cardboard in there to keep it straight, which is awesome. Set that aside. I really got to get a better camera set up, huh? This is how I do it, though. It's all good. Got another 9-incher. Now this one goes with that groom over there. We got the bride. And these are all in, like perfect condition. You can tell this has just been stuffed in a bag and stuck in storage for years and years. Uh, this is style 6054. And I saw the set of the bride and groom go for $200. I've also seen it go for like a little over $100 shipped. But I'm going to try for like 100 bucks or best offer on each of these. I mean, they're mint, mint condition. Other than the bag's been cut open, it looks like the troll's never been touched. It's definitely never been played with. Let's see. Another 9-inch one. This might be one of my favorites. This is really cool. And this, actually, the bag, they didn't cut open. So that's awesome. Let's see here. Yeah, this guy's cool. Pretty sure it's a guy. I have trouble telling if it's a guy or a girl, if it's a troll doll. Pretty sure that's a guy. Yeah, the girl would probably have, like, another strap or something. It's got a little bone in the hair. Cute little face. It's got the tag on it still. And this is style 6522, Neander Troll. And I believe there was a few of these up, and there was a few that sold on eBay. See, it's got that uh, 1977 there and the chin 1985 on it. No marks on... Oh, it does. this one does have a mark on the feet, 604. There was, I think there might have been some sold to this, but nobody had the bag and tag combined. So, rare, awesome troll. Got that guy back in his bag. And let's see here. Okay, now we're getting down to the rust trolls. Stick this guy to the side. You're going to have to tune into the next troll video to see my cool scary trolls and animal trolls. I did post this one. This one's pretty rare. But it's, it's tiny. These guys, I mean, the bigger they go, obviously, the bigger ones sell for more money. And there's certain trolls that just go for more money, like the ones with tails, the animal trolls, and stuff like that. This one, the happy birthday troll. This is the uh, adopt an orphan troll. I don't th When they say adopt an orphan, I don't think it's, like, highly sought after or anything, but there's definitely people like them. This is style 250 Betty. Actually, I didn't even pay attention to that. 
about the happy birthday Betty one. Not going for a lot, but I think probably around maybe 25 to 30 bucks. Not a super expensive troll or anything, but somebody's looking for it. Okay, now before I get into the rust trolls, because a huge percentage of these ones in here are rust, and when you're out looking in thrift stores and stuff, huge percentage of what you find is rust, and rust is not as high of quality as the, the Denmark. I had to plug my computer in. Um, they're just not as high of quality as the Denmark trolls, and personally, I don't think they're as cool looking. Um, and... For the most part, I don't think they're worth as much money. Although there's definitely some trolls that are worth some money from Russ. So, uh, before I get into the Russ trolls, however, I want to take a look into this tin. This Heinz Pearls tin. And what we got in here is a bunch of small trolls. A bunch of tiny little trolls. Let's take a look here. I'm just going to dump these guys out. Guys and girls all over the place. So, we got some freaky looking little trolls in here. <clears throat> Pardon my French. Um, so, I have not done a ton of research on these guys, so we're just going to take a look at these. Now, a big portion of these are actually unmarked, so I bel I think, for the most part, I'm going to do a bunch of research on these, definitely, obviously, before I post them. But it doesn't look like... Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Let's see here. Let's look at the foot. A oh, Hong Kong. We got a Hong Kong troll. I mean... This is probably homemade clothing. People love to make homemade clothing for their trolls. Uh, this troll is just... I don't know, I like this troll a lot. It looks a little freaky, but I like this troll. Tiny little troll. Um, keep an eye out. Now, I'm going to tell you something to keep an eye out for if you're ever looking for trolls. And one thing to keep your eye out for is old trolls with either multicolored hair or... Actually, any any mini any mini trolls, if they're marked "dam" and they have their original hair, a lot of these trolls' hair is in terrible shape, unfortunately. But if they have like multicolored hair like this, and if it's long, you want to look for that long hair. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's marked fifty cents. I don't see any markings on it, and this one's in rough shape too. To sell these, I may just put these all in a lot. Oh, here we go, here we go. This one's really cool, but I don't think this one was marked. Let's take a look at it, though. And it has this little thing on the back of it. I'm really not sure about this troll. I think that's plastic eyes. Now, one th Oh, yeah, it's soft. There's no way this is damn. But the hair is really cool. So that's a sign that the, the hair might be worth money. See how it's extra long? The, uh, the hair's extra long. And it's multicolored. It has like these diff this different colored tips. So if this was marked damn, I would say this is probably like a, a thirty to forty dollar troll. But since it's not marked, I can't really guarantee how much it's worth. Now, also you want to check to see if the eyes are glass. So if the eyes were glass and it was marked damn and it had the multicolored hair, then I could pretty much say this is a forty dollar troll. But this one, since it doesn't have that stuff, I just have to do more research. And this little thing on the back of the head, I haven't run across very many of those. So that one, uh, most of these little trolls, I have to do a bunch of research on. This one is marked damn. So this is a 60s troll, right? A 60s troll. I'm not sure. Okay. So what I just did is kind of gross, and you probably don't do it. You probably want to, like, wash the troll first, but I'm, I'm a weirdo. Um, I tested the, the eye with my tooth. And uh, this, ha this has glass eyes, so that's an authentic uh, 60s troll doll for sure, right there. I would say probably minimum 20 bucks on that, just that one troll. This is definitely, you can tell just by the style of this, it's got plastic eyes. Uh, this is definitely a newer troll doll, and no ID on that at all. This is a cool one, I like that little troll, let's see. Did I look at this one already? I don't think so. But you can tell this one's older, but it's not damn. And I already checked this one. This one's super cool. I mean, the hair is really cool. But the, their hair is in rough shape on a lot of these, but it's still nice. Somebody made a nice little piece of clothing for this one. And let's see here. Like I said, keep an eye out for the big hair trolls. This one, I don't think it has any marks on it. 
Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. Duh. Giant mark on the bottom. Oh, made in Denmark. Damn. And I'm not sure. I'm kind of skeptical as to whether it feels. Oh, that's plastic. That's a plastic eyes, so I think that's a later one. This is just a weird one. Weird little troll. Strange neck. That is just weird. Now, China made a ton of knockoffs of trolls. And so a lot of the ones, the a lot of the knockoffs just don't have any markings on them at all. And this one, let's see here. Kind of reminds me of the other one. It has that weird thing on the back of its head. This one seems really low quality, though. <clears throat> now, before I look at the back... I don't know, this one seems pretty cool, actually. This one says 30 cents on it. Somebody paid 30 cents for this a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Let's check this one out. 30 cents. I think somebody got all these in the same place, and then they sold them to me. Or I, they were kept it. They were in a storage unit, and then somebody was selling them at the flea market. That's how I got them. Another unmarked one. This is definitely not Dam or any other brand that I know of. This is there. Sometimes you'll just find some weird random troll. This is like hard plastic. This might have been on the top of a birthday cake or something like that. This is just a strange looking fish-eyed little troll. Did I do this one already? I think I did that one. Um, got a blue blue one here, and no marks on that one. Big hair. This is a big hair troll right here. Damn, look at the hair on that. Goodness gracious. All right. Look at the hair. It won't even come out of the face. Boom. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, the, the eyes are really cool on this one. Some people look for uh, cool eyes, actually. And, by the way, uh, one way to tell if it is authentic vintage is the uh, hair is it has like it's I think it was made with of sheep hair and it has a piece of sheep skin attached to it and eh, I don't know but the eyes on that are really cool I'm like I said I'm gonna have to do a bunch of research on these small ones still this one's very interesting it's white with speckled hair the old boots on it oh this one has the horseshoes I can't remember the name of the brand that has the horseshoes on it let's see here yeah, horseshoes. Can't, I don't think that's Russ. Can't remember though. We also got a little holiday troll. These guys go for like 10, 11 bucks shipped. If you feel like sh uh, shipping those little guys. Personally, I like just throwing all the little ones. Unless there's some records. Like I might sell uh, the damn ones for a little more. But these guys, because they're, they're in a rough shape, I might just give somebody a bargain on them. And I'm really not sure how much I'm going to lot these together for yet. I'm, def I'm not going to put this one in with it, but I'll put all the similar ones together. And next we got Rust Trolls. Actually, let's go over this one first. So I had to do a bunch of research on this. The Canyonville Tigers Troll. This is a very interesting troll. It's made out of soft plastic. And the reason it's made out of soft plastic is because... It is a piggy bank, and to open the piggy bank, you actually take his head off. So, let's do that. Take the troll's head. You know what, never mind, I'm not going to do it on camera. But, there's no markings on it, so this doesn't really have a brand name. But I was doing a bunch of research on these guys, and I guess... He has some cool eyes, too. Um, <clears throat> I guess these trolls were... They, they were... They were made by sports teams, like they would get a troll, and they would have, they w I'm not really sure how they would do it, but sports teams had their own mascot trolls or something like that. I, I don't know, I just talked to some people on Facebook about it, so I don't know a lot about this. I do know they're very, they're super rare, and if I had to guess when this was made, it would probably be in the late 70s or early 80s. It's really dirty, really well used. Since it's such a rare item, even though it's not going to be super sought after, there might be somebody out there looking for this. Maybe, you know, a Canyonville Tigers fan. 
and since they're probably not going to find any of these anywhere else, I put this up for a hundred bucks or best offer just to see what happens. You know, if somebody offers me like 50 or 40, 40 or 50 bucks, I'm guessing that it might sell for like 40 or 50, but you never know. And let's start going over the rust trolls. Here we go. Here come the rust trolls. And I think there was a couple other things in here too, actually. Now we got a California Raisins doll. We'll leave that for a later video. Oh, we got a Yosemite Sam puppet. Leave that for a later video. I actually have that on one of my earlier videos. I don't know how it got in the bottom of this box. So not all of these are rush, rush. Not all of these are rust, but a large portion of them are. This one is actually made by T. Uh, what was it, TNT or TMT? 1991 TNT. This is a 1991 TNT troll. 1991. There's some weird trolls. Not a big fan of the look. Throw that over there. This guy is TNT. We got another TNT. This is definitely Russ. Like, once you start going through troll dolls, you can just go, oh, that's a Russ right there. This is an unmarked one. This goes with these other little ones over there. And we got an African or black ru uh, rust troll. Let's see what this is a. Uh, I don't know what year it is. But actually, one thing you can look out for is not in rust necessarily, but African American trolls are worth a bit more. Especially the old dam trolls. If you ever find the black dam trolls, those are worth some money. Cute and lovable. Little trolls. We got Russ everywhere. Little troll. Little baby troll. What is that? Baby troll. Made in China. The Russ. Got a little keychain troll. Looks like it could use a pencil. Rip City. Alright, is this Russ? Yeah, that's Russ. This one's strange looking. Strange looking little troll and it doesn't have any markings on it. Yikes. Oh, we got a dwarf in here too. So your Disney products. That is for a later video. And oh my god, look at this one. Look at the cheeks on this guy. This is made by... This is 1991 ITB. Now there's so many different brands that made trolls. Obviously like Dam and Russ are going to be the biggest names. Ace Novelty. Another TNT. Is that TNT? TNT. Got a little necklace type troll. Really light and junky feeling. That is made in Korea. Wow. You don't see them made in Korea that often. That's interesting. It's oh, no, that's not Russ. I thought that was Russ. I really thought that was Russ. Let's see here. Made in China LCD. 1998 GTI. Seahawks. Russ. I think I would run over that one. Now, you can look at this, and you could tell it's a damn troll right there. That ain't no Russ. Made in China. And not all damn trolls are made in Denmark. So definitely if you're listing these things, check the foot and check to see if it was made in Denmark. Or check the markings somewhere. Uh, 1986 little troll doll. These guys are worth probably somewhere between 7 and $15 shipped. So this size troll, unless, you know, once in a while obviously you run into something that's worth some money. But a lot of the time, I'm going to end up lotting these guys together the same way that I did with those little ones, these small ones. Got a little, another little keychain. And, let's see, is that, what is that, Russ? It's definitely Russ. <clears throat> got a little troll outfit, little slugger by Russ. We got Grumpy, same brand as that other dwarf. And made in China. Otherwise, no markings. Tiny little grab-on troll. You can hold on to your finger. 
made by Creator in 1990. Oops, let's see here. Creator, 1992. Purple Troll. Ace Novelty. And TNT. Ace Novelty. That looks like a stripper troll or something. That just kind of looks wrong. I don't know. Russ. Get that guy's shirt. Um, Ace Novelty. Russ. Glitter Eyes. And another one of these. Luck of the Irish. And one more here. Made in China. It's an unmarked one. And this guy... I think this is Dungeons and Dragons. Let's see here. Um, so this is not a troll doll, obviously. Let's take a look in here. LJN 1983 TSR. I can't remember this guy's name. But I'm 99% sure he's a Dungeons and Dragons character. Okay, so we're done with that. We actually do have a few more trolls back here. I I already listed these, so let's take a look at these. This one's pretty cool. This is another graduate. I showed you the green-haired graduate earlier. Now this is very similar, but this is the uh, the girl graduate, and the girl has super long hair. The hair is as long as the troll, and it's a nine-inch troll. So. Style 605-1112. And the hat still has the cardboard. And we got, oh, this is a cool one. Another 9-incher. And this is Gypsy Rosa. Rosa. Check out the Gypsy. And most of these ones, actually, I think all of them, the uh, right hand or the right arm doesn't move, and the left arm does move. Long white hair, cool gypsy dress, very cool. And one more. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Now this is probably the most expensive of the ones I've showed you. This is uh, Danmark's National Troll. This is a pretty rare to find these, and this is the 1990 limited edition. One of the last videos I made, I actually showed a bunch of of animal trolls that I found from the same limited edition. But this is a more traditional style troll. Cool white hair. I think this is about eight and a half inches tall. And this was made to look like some of the 60s trolls with their felt clothing and stuff. It has a... It actually doesn't say made in Denmark on it, but it has a tag that says made in Denmark. Kind of strange to me, actually. That it doesn't actually say Denmark on the doll. So, I wonder if it says... I don't really want to deal with taking the clothes off. But, yeah, I've seen these guys sell from anywhere from $40 to, like, $200 for the for the 1990 limited edition. I've seen just the tag itself, without any troll doll, sell for $25. Because those 1990 dolls were pretty darn rare. And we'll go over this one little toy here. This is pretty cool. So this is a string marionette olive oil from Popeye, obviously. Olive oil. And I think this was made in the late 60s, or sometime in the 60s. Made by Gund. Gund is an excellent brand. Unfortunately, this has had all of the strings cut, and it's missing the wooden thing that you use to control the puppet. So I've seen a set of... These, uh, the Popeye and olive oil go for like 60 bucks shipped. But the only one of these up right now is like $65 just for olive oil, but that's complete. So this isn't worth much. I think I could probably get 20 bucks for it, maybe 25 bucks for it. But still a cool little figure. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Freebooter out. Peace.